Kelly Oubre Jr. is going to make his return to the floor for the Philadelphia 76ers tonight and coming up on today's show. We're going to explain analytically, statistically, why this is a big deal for Philadelphia. But first, if you're excited to see Oubre back on the court for the Sixers, welcome him back. Type KO down below in the comment section and continue to rock with this here on today's show because we're going to inform you, we're going to entertain you, and we're going to pass along some really insightful information on today's Philadelphia 76ers now, so let's get it. All right, let's do it. I'm Chase Senior. This is Philadelphia 76ers now by Chat Sports. Hope all of you out there having a fantastic week. You're having a great day, and you're excited, just like me, for the Sixers to get back on the floor after a mini hiatus tonight. Keith Pompey with this, that Kelly Oubre Jr., a full participant, and will play on Wednesday night tonight against the Washington Wizards. The Wizards, one of the worst teams in the NBA. They are awful. So this is an opportunity for Kelly Oubre Jr. to kind of ease back into things and for the Sixers to get back a player who has been very valuable for Nick Nurse's basketball club. The Sixers 7-1 and one with Kelly Oubre Jr. playing this year. And then the incident happens where allegedly he got hit by a car and Philadelphia's really struggled since he went out of the lineup. 5-6 and six without Oubre Jr. Now a lot of you might be saying... It's not really a big deal that Oubre hasn't played. He isn't the reason why the Sixers have struggled. He's definitely one of the big reasons why the Sixers have struggled offensively and defensively. Why is that? Let's dissect it. So I think with Oubre, he was giving this team really valuable energy and really good athleticism coming in off the bench or as a starter. And I think that Oubre has always kind of been an underrated two-way player. But with the metrics that we're about to show you, his two-way threat, his two-way ability was really profound. And I think sometimes the fit for a player is really important. Sometimes you don't fit with one of your significant others, a girlfriend or a boyfriend who you're dating, and you know that, right? Sometimes you are cohesive with that partner, and then that relationship is really seamless. With Oubre, he didn't fit on the Golden State Warriors a couple of years ago. That became very clear during his tenure in the Bay Area. But with other teams across the NBA, he has fit a little bit better. But his fit with any team so far in his NBA career has not been what it's been and what it was for Philadelphia. He's playing great basketball and for the Sixers, really good bargain deal to get him late in free agency for so cheap on that short-term deal. To start the year, he was averaging 16 points per game. He was pulling down five rebounds, a steal and a half. Chip and I were talking like the Sixers haven't had athletic wings like this in a really long time. It was so nice and refreshing to actually see that. 50% from the field and almost 38% from three-point range, well above his career numbers. And those aforementioned advanced numbers that I had previewed and teased just moments ago on Kelly Oubre Jr., according to Basketball Index, Kelly Oubre, fifth in the NBA, in defensive positional versatility. So the Sixers, when he's been out, have been giving up a lot more points per game. And not having Oubre to close games, but also throughout the course of a basketball game, has hindered this team. And what that means is, is that Oubre has been able to guard a wide variety of players. And without him in the lineup, the Sixers have missed that defensive versatility on switches, one-on-one -on -one matchups, on the wing, and just overall athleticism, his length, being able to really pester and bother some offensive players from the opposition. More advanced stats on Oubre, points per shot attempt, 82nd percentile, turnover percentage, 7.5%, 91st percentile, effective field goal percentage, 73rd percentile at 57.8%, non-corner threes, 40%, 75th percentile, and his steal percentage, 2%, 92nd percentile. And when you kind of rack all of those numbers up among all Sixers players this year, Oubre, all-around game, versatility, two-way impact, was one of the Sixers' best players. So when you're without him for an extended period of time, 
That's why the Sixers have struggled a little bit. That's kind of why they flatlined after what well, was that great start. Third in, on the team in points per shot attempt. Second in turnover percentage. Third in effective field goal percentage. Non-corner three is third and steal percentage second. So statistically, advanced numbers, he has been one of the Sixers' best players this year. And he's been and was key to the Sixers' success. And hopefully the injury to his ribs doesn't hold him back. He's been able to ramp up basketball activities over the last couple of weeks to get him prepared and ready for this game against Washington and moving forward. With Oubre on the court, points allowed per 100 possessions, minus 1.8 turnover percentage, the same number there. Rim field goal percentage, plus 5.5%. Opponent offensive rebounding percentage, minus 3.6%, and transition frequency, plus 6%. I don't want to always get overly nerdy, but when there are numbers that are important, when there are numbers that can tell and paint a picture to summarize all of this, Kelly Oubre Jr. has been very uh, valuable for this basketball team. And he has made this Sixers team a lot better. And the numbers are clearly there. And they clearly do tell a story when he's been on the floor as compared to when he's been off the floor. Kelly Oubre Jr., fill in the blank for me. Where is he among the top players on this Sixers team? He is the blank best player on this Sixers roster. Have some fun with that and join the conversation down below in the comment section. Coming up next here on the show, mysterious, weird, odd incident that we still don't know what really happened with why Oubre got hurt. Well, he spoke to the media about his accident. Stay tuned for more information on that. But first, here's information for you to eat right, save money, and save a lot of time this holiday season because today's 76ers now is sponsored by Factor. You can get 50% off using the code NBAChat50. This holiday season, you're probably looking for nutritious, convenient meals to keep you energized on jam-packed days. Well, I have good news for everybody out there. One, two, three, four, five, Sixers. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal delivery service, can help you fuel up fast for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with chef-prepared, dietitian approved ready-to-eat meals that are delivered straight to your door. You're going to save time, you're going to eat well, and you're going to stay on track with your healthy lifestyle all while tackling all of your holiday to-dos. Skip the stress of meal prepping over these holidays with Factor and choose from 35-plus weekly flavor-packed, fresh, never-frozen meals that support a healthy lifestyle and meet your meal preferences. Everything is delivered straight to your door and all of these meals ready to eat in just a couple of minutes. So it's 50% off at factormeals.com slash NBA chat 50. We'll put that information down for you in the comment section and in the description of this video. As for Kelly Oubre Jr., he was made available to the media and right away he was hounded, he was peppered with a bunch of questions asked about what happened to him back several weeks ago. And here's what Oubre had to say. I've spoken to the police about the situation. They have an ongoing investigation. So I've spoken to who I need to speak to about it, and I'll keep that the way it is. I won't be speaking on any details about that because they are looking into it. This was and is a very traumatic situation for me and my family. I just wish my life wasn't like the Truman Show, where everybody could kind of watch it and have their own opinion about my life. A lot of people are very inconsiderate and insensitive to try to worry about video cameras, about something that happened with my life and was very detrimental to me and missing time with my job. I'm just really blessed that it wasn't worse. What do they say? Minor setback for a major comeback, right? I'm ready to hoop. This has been a long process for me, and I'm just ready to be back with my guys and go to war with Coach and make the organization look good. He also said to be taken away from my job, that sucked as well. And I don't want to be one of those ignorant people who's going to make an assumption, right? And a lot of people have, and I do believe that Kelly Oubre Jr. is right in saying that, look, my life is kind of like the Truman Show. 
I said I got hit by a car. People are saying I didn't get hit by a car. And in this social media world with all of these keyboard warriors, they're going to tweet out all these ridiculous things that I got jumped, that I was involved in this or that. I also will say that if I got hit with the car, I'd probably just say, I got hit by a car. It sucked. And I'm in pain. And I'm glad that I'm good now. And I'm able to play basketball once again. All that matters now, Ubre is okay. And he's back on the court. I mean, I remember that night pretty vividly. I'm sitting on my couch on a Saturday night, getting ready for a long day of work for an NFL Sunday, and I get the alert from Shams. I get the update from Woj. Kelly Oubre Jr. in Center City, Philadelphia has been hit by a car. He's in a hospital. He's going to be out for an extended period of time. And at that point, you're like, is he okay? Is this a life-threatening situation? When you say he's going to be out for an extended period of time, how long is he going to be out? And as we know, it was certainly an interesting process, but he's going to return to this team, and they certainly need him because this team has struggled without the services of Ubre. If you made it to the end of the video, that means that you're a real one. So let's do a real one roll call here down in the comment section and give me a real one down below in the chat as you venture down there. If you haven't subscribed, you ain't alive. If you want Sixers content year-round, this is your go-to spot. More content to come later this week. Should the Sixers trade Tobias Harris? Turn on your notice, therefore you won't miss that.